Your local election headquarters brought you the victories in November, and tonight two, no, two local mayors were inaugurated, and we were there. Iowa News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us now live in studio with more. Rob? Mike, the city of Taunton swore in Mayor Shauna O'Connell, while New Bedford swore in Mayor John Mitchell this evening. Her first time, well, this made for his fifth time taking the oath, both looking ahead on ways to improve their communities. Thank you for this incredible opportunity to serve you. Shauna O'Connell celebrated a first for the city of Taunton Monday, becoming the first female mayor to be sworn into the office. She couldn't help but think of the young women in the audience watching her take the oath. I feel really honored and I hope that I can set a good example and inspire them uh, to do wonderful things in life. Former state representative says she's ready to take her nine years of experience as a legislator and use them to improve her community. Really important that we're going to focus on is revitalizing our neighborhoods and our downtown, making Taunton a destination. A half an hour south from her inauguration, Mayor John Mitchell was sworn in as New Bedford's mayor for his fifth term, promising to end fire department blackouts in the city with the building of a new station in the south end that will consolidate two existing departments. Right now, the, the blackouts are scheduled to end when the, uh, when the south end uh, public safety center uh, will be constructed. That will be about a year from now. Mayor Mitchell says that it will be the first station built in New Bedford in 60 years and that he understands the inconvenience felt by firefighters having to move from station to station during the blackouts. What we're trying to do is, uh, is to put our fire department in the best position we can in light of the resources that we have available. Mayor Mitchell says in addition to ending the blackouts, he's also looking forward to making improvements to roads, underground infrastructure, and improving parks. Live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.